guys I don't even know if I signed off last night's vlog properly like I got in so late and also the talk was at Soho House and you know how they are about filming so I'm gonna have to wait for someone to throw me a bone of content and then maybe you'll see it but it doesn't really matter this morning I am going to I don't even know where I'm going how about that I don't know exactly where I'm going but I'm working with Asda you know George Asda um, I am creating some content for them around some of their party wear and so we are being taken to a gorgeous hotel for the night I think or some kind of estate and the space is going to be given to us to create the content on site so I'm currently in a car on my way to do that um, hopefully I'm going to remember to pick up this camera today well I do have to pick up the camera because I'm creating content there but you know what I mean so let me remember to do that also it's the first of November already your girl is in her Mrs. Claus bag you know I don't play about Christmas and so I'm very very excited um, anyway let's get to work all checked in this isn't my room let me show you the space this isn't my room but this is a set and because part of the concept is me shooting one of my infamous OOTDs we've they've dressed the set like all Christmassy and so this is where I'm gonna start shooting today here I am guys I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm fabulous I'm sorry Your best believer. The grounds we are shooting in today are insane. It's giving a lady of the manor. It's pissing down outside though. But this is like some kind of Harry Potter great hall situation. Um, that's the setup I just shot. And like, this is the vibe. Okay. It's so gorgy. God, stop it, stop it. That's amazing. And then, mm. right, finally checked into my room. It's very rustic, very chic, very arachnid field so not something i would book for myself girl we around so much greenery and everywhere i look lady bird daddy long legs i don't know man i don't know if i'm gonna sleep tonight uh anyway this is the look i'm about to shoot once i have lunch where can i pop ya where can i pop ya i have to go down low ladies let me see you go down low ladies let me see you go down low with a head shoulders knees up hey hips shoulders knees up hey hey shoulders knees up this dress these dresses these looks girl talk about looking beautiful on a budget i feel incredible anyway i was starving darling because i didn't have breakfast so one must eat before one eats <laughs>
ciao i'm back in the hotel room i am tired most of them are still sitting around that table drinking and having a laugh and as much as i wanted to stay i'm tired and also i'm not in a drinking mood i'm just not a big drinker anymore um because i just don't feel great the next day so as you can hear the kettle is on the floor we turn the camera stop looking at me go over there the kettle is over there boiling and i'm gonna make a mint tea and hit the sack i'll see you soon morning my loves well it's not morning actually it's afternoon and it is the 8th of december i think yeah it's the 8th of december super busy day I, I didn't vlog this morning because it's literally just been admin 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 deadlines da -da -da -da. boring i'm finally getting a wax i'm like two months overdue girl down there ain't look like that in like a decade so i'm gonna go to my favorite beautician um body and i are going to a super fancy event tonight uh uh by the jewelry store loop and rolex mm. they said it's red carpet so you know your girl's got a bust down look um and so i'll bring you guys along to that but for now i've only got seven minutes so let's go and broop, the kitty okay broop, the kitty let's go On my, it's not my local high street anymore. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I just bought some flowers. And usually I get my flowers from like Marks and Spencers, but I saw a video the other day that was just like, you need to shop small, especially with the way the economy is going. We need to keep smaller businesses afloat. So I was like, today I'm going to get my flowers from the local florist. And so I did. And I'm they're cute let's see how long they last the reason i love marks and spencer's flowers is because they really go the distance and typically when i shop at my local florist they don't last very long but let's see let's see anyway let me get back to the car i think i've got a meeting in 20 minutes my vlog camera it's all the way upstairs and i'm just not going back upstairs because i've got my shoes on i'm gonna show you my outfit in a second let's do it now no time like the presents so if i just pop you there hopefully we can um <laughs> don't watch what's going on the outfit's super simple but what is not simple girl is the boot let me come closer so you can get into that boot that's a rooting toot toot that's a rude and what that boot do? Um, 
I'll pick you up now. I am off to Yalk, which is the Young Adult Literary Convention. If you didn't know, because I don't think I make my various day jobs obvious on YouTube. Um, I'm an author and my most recent book, Cuts Both Ways, was a young adult love novel. The follow-up's coming up next year. I'm currently to be tapping on that now. Um, and so today I'm going to meet the young people there, and I love this part of my job um, at Kensington Olympia. The gag is Comic Con is also on. So we're, my publicist is texting me every 10 seconds because she's like, ciao, I do not want you getting swept up in that. And so let's see what I'm going to, you know, I always make these grand promises to vlog the whole day and then I completely forget. But I'm going to get better. Should we put the coat on so you can see the whole vibe? Sorry, I just had coffee. That is why I am talking at a million miles. Oh! She said no. She said no. Talking at a million miles per hour. I'm going in with my fake one of my favourite coats. If you follow me, you would have seen this coat ten million times, and as you should, okay. Um, but today the vibe is Fifty Shades of Green because I'm also carrying my green Bottega bag. But it's dinner in a Batman, and one of my favourite black dresses. This is by a modest clothing company called Leem. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, my hallway's a tip. Just to know that is my driver here. Yeah. He's usually on time. Eleventh, the twelfth. Alexa, what's the date? It's the eleventh. Um, and I need to hustle. When I'm in the car, I'm gonna start buying Esme's birthday presents. She turns ten on Wednesday, which is just I can't believe I've been someone's parent for a decade. Do you know how insane that feels? Do you know how young I still feel? Wow. Anyway, so I've sorted her cake. She's having a Stranger Things themed cake. I, I bought I bought her a Stranger Things themed birthday card earlier this year and I just tucked it away. I also want to get Stranger Things themed wrapping paper. So I need to do all of this. Stuff. You know, mom life. I need to do all of this stuff whilst I'm in the car. OK, we got this. We got this. We got this. We're strong gals. No. No, because then you, you, I'm not on that strong black woman vibe. God, for 2024, I am your weakest soldier. Okay, do not be pulling me on no strong list because I will simply collapse. Right? Let's get that straight. is Sunday the 12th of November um I've just had my nails done my classic half moon red manicure you know my nails are always red Shay's about to do my toes and I've already got my face semi beat because even though it's Sunday I'm going to work today I've got to go to a literature festival in Chester which is a four hour not round trip one way so it's going to be eight hours in a car today but child, let me do these toes, then we need to get dressed, then we need to get in the car. And in the car, I am hopefully gonna finish my book. I'm gonna finish book number four, cause it's overdue. And my editor for book number five is already on my case. Um, so that's what we need to do. Um, yeah, so let's... Oh, I'll just walk into your friend. Oh, girl, don't worry. Guys, this is Shay. You guys should know Shay by now, please. Please, if you don't know, get to know.
guys today is the 14th of november i'm not feeling great today um it is coincidentally also the 14th anniversary of my dad's death and you know grief is a thing grief is a thing after almost a decade and a half the the edges the corners become less sharp you don't clip yourself on them every so often you know or as often as you did in the early days and the emotions surrounding that event start to not necessarily be painful but throb it's a dull throbbing um and you know what a sad day what a sad day um 14 years ago my god i was a baby um and for those of you that don't know, my dad died really suddenly. He got the flu. This is way before COVID. Um, he got the flu and it quickly turned into pneumonia. And he was on his way to an Arsenal match. Good old gooners. And he decided he was going to stop in at Whips Cross Hospital because he felt so unwell, right? And he ended up going into cardiac arrest in the public waiting room. And they tried to revive him, but he died immediately. And so... Uh, my dad was taken out of the chat quite aggressively. I will say this though, because you know I'm a manifesting babe. You know I stay in my spiritual bag. I will say that from the spiritual plane, my dad does his job. Plus more. He ain't got nothing better to do than to look after his one picnic. I have seen, I have asked him, but I have seen that man in spirit rise up for me time and time again. And I'm just so grateful to be loved and protected in a different realm in a different way in a way that uh isn't as boring or as logical as dealing with people in the physical when you've got someone who's ready to get busy for you in the ancestral realm try try more time and my my, my best friend tells me not to do this more time i end up praying for my enemies you know because i'm like oh lord you done troubled the wrong one and it's not even now that i'm gonna trouble you it's just that you've troubled something that belongs to a man he ain't got nothing better to do so now he's gonna make your life a headache and i wouldn't want that for you baby girl or boy but last last that's how it goes and so i feel tremendously um loved and supported by him even though he's not here in the physical um big rich man what a dude uh, we named rj after him so rj is little richard richard jr we got his name from my dad my dad's name was richard richie b anyway i need to go into sainsbury's because coincidentally uh it says me's birthday 
I know. You, literally, my life is a story. And so, cake, balloons, da 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 da. I gotta get on my mama hustle. So, let's go and do the thing. Oh my god. I just finished shooting content, guys. I still can't find my vlog camera. Anyway, how, how's, how's your day going? How's your day going? I think these need to go to the tailor. But for now, what I did was I simply use a hairband uh, that I borrowed, borrowed from Peloton Studios to tuck these up. So I'm going to put them back on. I just have like... 50 million things I need to take to the tailor. Now, my my tailor, the great tailors that I, I found, this mother and daughter duo who were Scottish, they've moved back to Scotland. At, that is not what I need at this time in my life. And so I'm now looking for a new tailor, preferably someone who can come to my home and pin me up. I just find it, just, it's just another thing to do on the to-do list to like take 15 dresses and then be pinned up, you know, in a bloody cold corner of a room with a old curtain giving you privacy. Like I'd much rather be pinned up in my house, but say la vie, that's better, isn't it? Beggars can't be choosers. Um, I love this outfit so much. I'll, I'll even take the sides in myself because she's just li a little at home chic moment. You know what I'm saying? Little, a little roulette vous coucher avec moi c'est soi that's what this is um right let's tidy up Oh, she, he wants to ask you something. Yes. What? I want to have one of these. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Give him the little one uh, and another one will be here by tomorrow. Okay. Oh, do you know how lucky you are that she's giving you something on her birthday? Listen, remember, remember Christmas when I got them two tiger toy thingies with the sparkly eyes and i gave you one you're so lucky rich other sisters would have been like hell no <laughs> what do you say <laughs> oh give her a hug yeah. 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 okay hello 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 good morning Hi. Hello. good thanks how are you I've always got to have my, my wits about me. The sun will come out tomorrow. Hang on till tomorrow. There'll be sun. What's up, babe? Tell me what's on your mind. Did we not? Did, how do you feel about the meeting we just had? There was no vocal, so they don't know what we said. By the way, it's good. Yeah. How do you feel about twenty twenty four? Good. That's not how he was feeling last night. But anyway, mm? <laughs> our little back and forth last night. Well, they wanted to throw me over a metaphorical bridge. <laughs> we were so savage to each other last night. No, <laughs> so come savage. On, I'm never savage. You see, you're a bit men. What? The way that lie just escaped well, your like, throat what, like air. Can this, it's not a lie, it's a fact. What do you mean? Why are you being savage? 
There's no savagery there, man. It was tough words with love. There's no savagery. Is that how we're describing it? No, yeah, absolutely, because at the core of everything, you always got to remember that this is somebody I'm still going to lay down with, man. You get me? So what's the point of being savage? Bell. Hmm? Bell. No, don't be savage. You can have tough words without being savage. Mm -hmm. You know? And the words that were had needed to be had. I get so nervous mm. about next year. But them windows are so dirty. They're filthy. They're bloody filthy. I'm going to clean them now. Uh, That's the inside as well. Is it? Yeah, it's inside, oh. yeah. Yeah, so what was I saying? I'm very nervous. We'll be fine. So I'm already recording because I want to get Esme's. What the heck? Oh, mm, mm, come and look at it. Come and look at it. That's amazing. Do you like it? I really love that. Do you like it? Actually, Do you want to open it yourself? Yeah, open it yourself. It's delicious. <laughs> He said what? What did I say? That he was hung dessert. Is he not? But Is he? It's a huge cake. Take this off. Is it fondant? Yes. Take this off. Take this off. Ooh. Oh my word. It's Is that the sounds? Is yeah. That, is that the strangest thing sounds? That's the sound of like <laughs> What is this? Eggos. Eggos, yeah. The, thing, the only like thing she eats. Yeah, I love them. It's the only thing Lola eats. Yeah. yeah. Even you know that. Yeah, because we watched the first couple of seasons together. How could you forget that? <laughs> it needs to be. Hey. It's launched today, actually. Yeah. So you'll see it. Okay. Yeah, that's this. PlayStation Portal. What's that? It's like handheld. Mm -hmm. So imagine the games, but then being able to play them handheld. What does that mean? Guess what? I'm very. On us, old guy. So. Let's just say on three, we'll say happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday! Thank you. Blow it out. about that is there's so much um i'll show you because right now you're on this dusty tripod girl she ain't even give me what i needed to give okay can you she ain't level nothing not a thing girl okay okay could you join this millennium um what's annoying me about the loss of this camera or the misplacement of this camera is it's got a lot of vlog footage on it i am really frustrated it is slightly an excuse to buy the upgrade though because Bode said i wasn't allowed to buy the upgrade because i wasn't using it enough but now i don't have it i can't use it at all girl math girl math the glove compartment perhaps 
where last did I even have it? I feel like I took it to farmhouse, but I can't find it. It's actually driving me crazy. Taking my, I don't take this out often, my little old school Ferragamo, not Maximilian Davis Ferragamo, unfortunately, child, but if you want to give your girl a little certain turn, let me share. Um, prepped ginger shop to health is wealth and all that. In. I should really look on Instagram because of my OOTDs. That will spark my brain. A little bit more perfume. Too much is never enough. I want you to smell me down the street, darling. Anyway, I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta get the hell out of here. I want this camera so bad. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm steaming mad. So guys, we are at Havas. I think I said this earlier. We're doing like a mini episode. Don't know that. Girl, can I find this vlogging camera? Oh, now the vlogging camera's just gone. So we're still on my phone. But child, I got the munchies, honey. Oh, not munchies like that because I don't smoke weed and I know how you guys will run away with the narrative. Oh, is it heavy? Wait, money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? budget. Guys, the team at ACOS bought us presents from Liberty. Um, girl, apparently the bag is weighty. Woo, child. Oh, Jesus Christ, it is heavy. Mm -hmm. they got the big black man's drop notes. No. no it's so <laughs> Cut that out, edit that. It's okay, you're right. <laughs> and you know, tell me I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Took her shit already. <laughs> that we might not know me. As P. That's a big question. And there's lots of them as well. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe the attitudes or characteristics, or I feel like they're obviously very open with you, they feel comfortable with you. As an audience, they don't mind being tested. Yes. They don't mind being pulled. Like they, they're gonna try and change an opinion or reach for something, mm. um, and they're, they're extremely non-judgmental. Yes. Yeah. Like there is just no judgment from our, from us or towards or, or from our audience to us. Yeah, I would say I would say they feel safe in the space that's been created because we feel safe in that space. Mm. So. Um, yeah, there's no judgment. There's always a wanting to learn and do better. Yes. From our audience, that's what we always find with our confessions. Because when they write in, we get to sort of see, you know, what they're thinking. Um, but yeah, I, I would say our audience is quite broad, though. Um, when we did our live show, we had three generations come. We mm -hmm. had daughter, mother, grandmother. Yes. All of them come. Like this thing we brought over on a Tuesday. We listened to it when we're cooking together. Like that is mm -hmm. kind of. I don't know, I don't know if that's normal, that's very beautiful. but that's such a beautiful thing to be a part of. Um, so yeah, I would say they are a broad audience, yeah. but also in terms of characteristics, they are non judgmental. They are, you know. Um, and you're listening to Closet Confessions. <laughs> if this is the first time listening to the podcast, the simple premise is myself and Sabal will gather it in my closet so we can get some things on our chest and you can get some things on your chest too. But first of all, you know what we gotta do. <laughs> These are my confessions. Just when I thought I said all I could say, but she got us out and said she got one of them. These are my confessions. Okay, so we're going to dive in with some listening confessions today. Okay. Confession number one My friend has recently broken up with her long term boyfriend. It was really sad for all of us because we really liked them together and he became part of the group. But recently it felt like they were more friends than partners. She was pretty devastated, but now she's quickly found a new guy who she's really into and things are moving quite quickly. They're spending loads of time together and already look quite couple -y, but it's only been a couple of weeks since she's been single. 
I'm worried she's really bad, really bad on the internet when I was and I'm so awkward about how quickly it's happened since I was also friends with the ex-boyfriend. Do I tell her things are moving too quickly or is it none of my business? None of your business! No! Trusty Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Girl. The earlier you start using this in your life, the better. And I cannot even see you right now because I don't have my glasses on, so I'm just pretending to look in the right direction. To watch the last season of The Crown slip into my night room and call it a night. I want to say today drained me. It didn't. It was a nice, calm day. Caroline Hirons, the skincare guru, sent me one of her new kits and it is the Performance Eye Gel by Jordan Samuel. Now just between you and I, what I have noticed is as I've been losing weight, there's a little bit of a sag and a bag appearing under my eyes, okay? And let's be honest, you know, if you want to look more youthful, the face should be more plump. But since I don't want to be too plump anywhere else, so I think it's incredible. It's by Dieu, Dieu, I don't know, um, but it's reusable eye patches, which is ugh, girl. So you can use any eye product and turn it into an eye mask, and then you just rinse these off. It's genius, genius. See, but the vibe, the look put my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream on my lips. Oh, good to go. Morning guys, guess what? I found my vlogging camera, it was in my car. So we will be switching to that shortly, but right now I'm using my phone. It is Saturday the 18th. I need to pay my own next bill. Saturday the 18th of November. Today we're going into London, we're going to Harrods to just give the kids a little experience because um, Esme's birthday was earlier this week, as you would have seen, and it was a school day, so she couldn't really do anything. So we're going into London for a little bit of lunch, maybe a little bit of shopping. Not that I'll be getting anything because Bode bought my Christmas present last night and I just, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> I've wanted this thing for a long time and Black Friday sale, cha-ching. Um, so I shall be, Shopping with my eyes. Speaking of eyes, guys, I've not even been in the shower, so I probably look a little worse for wear. Gotta get my retainer out. My toothache is frying me, and I can't get my filling until the 27th of November, so. But I actually drove to my best mate's house last night. She lives around the corner now to pick up some super strong painkillers that she had, and it kind of helped, but i just want it over with anyway let me hustle because you know our timekeeper body he's gonna be soon so i need to hustle td like i said we guys we are off 
out. Mm. Body is. Oh, is it shoes or should I just wear black powder? Oh, Jesus, get those off right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, baby. Huh? Well, they're not terrible. They're not. Are they comfortable, though? That's the thing. I'm thinking about wearing the black ones. Because of all the walking. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm going to switch to my vlogging camera in a minute, I promise. Because I'm like, can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? This is my look. So, I'm going with my jazzy pants. Okay, these are... Uh, I don't even want to say where they're from because we just don't rate that shop. So let's not say that. But I love a sequin pant dressed down. So I've literally just got on a grey sweatshirt, some platform trainers. Then I'm wearing my infamous Dries purple crushed coat. Gone in with my sparkly bag. My Fotega earrings. Can you guys see? So these are not no £1,000 Fotegas. These are £20 Amazons. Okay. Um... Esme's gonna try caviar for the first time. That's for shakes. You know what? I was gonna give it to you. <laughs> and then tell her. That's for shakes. Try, let it settle. Not a fan? Why are you not a fan? <laughs> oh, I like caviar. I do. So. I do. do you wanna try caviar? Is that your genuine opinion or are you, you just copying Ezzy? I'm not copying her. She he said. <clears throat> Do you want some more? Guys, just a little update. Harrods was a total flop. Wasn't it a flop, everyone? Yeah. Floppyana. Floppyana. Yeah. So we're on our way to Selfridges. Aren't we, Ez? Which is so funny because Ezzy's best friend was like, I told you to go Selfridges anyway. Yeah. But what, baby? Bode, what were you going to say? 
London. How did you use people drive in London? London driving. Well, guess what? Here's my privilege. I've never had to drive in London because when we come into London, Bode always takes the wheel, for which I'm grateful because I would have had 75 points on my license. Uh, so let's see if Selfridges. Everybody just wants to bully. Look at this one yeah. now. Yeah. Let's see if Selfridges will throw us a bone because that was a hard experience. Morning, guys. I am actually using my new vlogging camera. Um, you guys know I rock with a camera called the Pocket. I I upgraded to the Osmo Pocket Three. Ciao. This is what I want to see. The way I can go from landscape to portrait immediately, but it is a one anyway. Today is the nineteenth of November. Gosh, it's going so quick. Um. Uh. We are going out with the kids' godmother and my best friend, Remy, today. We're going to get a, a Sunday roast. You know, it's been a lot of firsts for Ajay's. You know, he only had his first Sunday roast a couple of weeks ago. This company sent me, like, a roast in a box, and I, I did it for their dinner after school. The boy, If the boy could have licked the plate clean, and that's all he's been talking about, when am I having another roast? Remy is a massive pub culture roast fan, shout out, so take your kid well i'm gonna go with them and it was my goddaughter, her daughter sana's birthday two days after esme's birthday so we're all gonna have a lovely pub lunch today there are a few things i need to do in between now i'm hoping esme doesn't remember that i promised to take her to the shopping center today because time is not on that side but anyway girl let's get on with it there's coldness there, there's karma There's heat, there's flames, there's lava Volcanic, what can we do, it gets manic Oh, I know what I'd rather When I pick up the mic, it's power When I pick up the mic, got powers When I pick up the mic, it's power When I pick up the mic, got powers Powers Powers, powers Powers, powers. powers. Four, three, two in the morning yeah, I'm still up, you're boring Life keeps getting better and better And I'm not stressed, I'm snoring It'll get messy, get gory Simpleness not for me I don't care about football, care about this, that Care if you're acting 40 Like quick call back, can't ignore me They don't even know my story Any little sour patch acting salty Flows on point like gourmet In a Michelin star like always Like conference call on four ways Man thinks this life is a role play Do they hear about the family drama? There's coldness there, there's karma There's heat, there's flames, there's lava Volcanic, rock the way it gets manic, oh, I know what I'd rather When I pick up the mic, it's power When I pick up the mic, got powers When I pick up the mic, it's power When I pick up the mic, got powers Powers, powers I'm a car seat with an army vibe Global militant, yeah, worldwide Keep it moving Right, let's get into this look Because we gotta go Um... Are you from New York even if you don't have a big black puffer jacket? I mean, the puffer of dreams going on here. Uh, early Christmas treat to myself since I've had to sell so many of my other clothes. I took that money and I did what the Lord told me to do, okay? Um, investment piece, literally, it's, it's, it's the only black puffer I'm going to have for the rest of my life. Um, it came with the belt. I'm just wearing jeans and a grey t-shirt and of course an NY fitted, you know, I stay and stand by these. And then I'm gonna put on some white converse and we are out the door. Hey first you. Pair of Jordans ever. Yep, show them your first pair of Jordans <laughs> ever. She's obsessed. <laughs> They're really, really nice. They would have to hold a lot of range. So guys, we didn't knock off yesterday properly. Anyway. Esme didn't have the best time out shopping yesterday. We get the first pair of Jordans. What? <laughs> That's all we bloody care about. Yeah, um, the first pair. But she was like, oh, you know, she, what, you, what was she like? She was like, I just actually want to go to H&M and Primark. Like, yeah. She was like, Harrods and stuff. Oh, yeah, she's going to, her friend is having, guys, listen to this. Her friend is having a shopping birthday party. Where we go in little groups. So where they're going to break off in little groups with adults. And this person's parents are going to give them money for the kids to shop. Like, what is life? Anyway, I'm taking her to the shops that she likes and she's going to spend her own money today. So let's do this. In our local shopping centre, guys, there's just empty ping pong tables. So people just play. Is it ping pong or badminton? Are you mad? Did you just call ping pong badminton? Oh no, badminton's in a pool, in it? Yes! Ah! In an court with the volleyball looking next. <laughs> badminton! <Listen. laughs> 
Okay. No, listen, so listen, listen. I was just confused. I was confused. That is not badminton. Ping, ping pong? Yeah. Ping That's pong. Because the ball goes ping pong. All right, ping pong champion. I don't like you. She said, oh, because the ball goes ping pong. Oh, yeah. oh. That's probably what that's probably, that's what probably what I mean. well, We're in Tiger, and when I say they have the most amazing ball balls for like three pounds each. I've like got broccoli. I can punch RJ without doing any work. I've got broccoli. There's a there's a cotton candy van. Oh my Mom, I'm one oh. of those guys in France. I haven't realized this gimbal yet. How yeah, 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 that's right, that yeah. Defo? Yeah. 12 pounds. I think it's good for the disco. Yeah. Yeah. Or even the checkered one, this checkered purple one. No, no, no. No, it's the green. The green makes it worse. Oh, you don't like the green? Yeah. Guys, I just never come to Primark, but look at this amazing Laker jacket. Like, open up the inside for me, Ez, because I want to show them even the label. The inside is good. So, it's MBA certified. And then show the back. For £24? Nah, Esme. And then it's like her size just appeared out of nowhere because we thought they wouldn't have one for her. She was so upset. Yeah, and then I checked was. again and then it's her lucky day. Look, she's bringing out her own money. <laughs> I ain't showing them my details. <laughs> <laughs> Esme said, You will not scam me. <laughs> Her says Esme, her car says Esme, that's so fun. Right, Ezzy, how was that? Amazing. Amazing? Yeah. 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 I'm tired. But we still gotta go pub. But it... <laughs> nah, because I, I didn't see the jacket in the shop. Yeah. But it's a Primark. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. But don't forget, this is for the men's. She, this is from the men's section in Primark, guys. By the time you guys see this vlog, though, it'll be gone. That's a fact. True. I'm not going to see this vlog for... Until... No, no, next week. It might still be in store. You know? Yeah. This will go out next Sunday. Well, hurry up. If you have the time, go get it if you want. It's a boy. It's a boy. Subscribe. No one wants I'm, I'm to see that. to the pub. She's wearing spoons. 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 Whilst I was out, I finally did something I've been meaning to do for years, in fact. And I just, you know, one of those things you're meant to do that you the just use. Picture of her and her dad. As as he said, I keep, I printed off this picture of myself and my dad, which I've, which I've. Um, I had a physical copy at one time, but I've never had the physical copy in my possession and um i got a picture frame and i'm finally gonna put it up in my closet and i i just love this picture and you know i'm in the period of calling on my ancestors more and i think having his photo up around well, the house is really powerful yeah. yeah so we're gonna put it in the frame although he although it's his spirit probably always visits the house his well, spirit is probably, probably in here. here yeah you know you're going down very well he's probably he's probably like he's just like Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Um, Grandpa Richard is in the house. We know it. Yeah. We know you're here, Dad. Doesn't, doesn't she look exactly like RJ? <laughs> she does. I'm going to insert a picture of RJ right now, guys. But my son, who is also born on the same day as me, yeah. is my literal twin. Literally. We're twins. We're twins. Oh, am I going to have to cut this down? Oh, the mum said... Oh, so you stick... I'm really happy with that. Obsessed. Then you can look over your kid's entire manner and enjoy some of that. Because we earned it. We ain't, we ain't even at the top yet, baby. We ain't even in the middle. We ain't even in the middle. Right. It looks a bit yellow. Yeah, because it is. It's pee. It's not pee. Yes, it is. It is pee. Pee cannot freeze. Yes, it can. 
Yes, it can. This is at this at this point any any. Imagine, imagine it's hey, imagine if somebody actually drank it. That would be disgusting. People have drank it? pee before. Would you rather die or drink? Her, would you rather die or drink your own pee? I'd rather drink my own pee. Stop touching mum's back. Oh, you, I'd rather you, die than drink pee. That's so, you'd rather die than drink your own pee and live. Is 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 that what you're telling me right you now? You might get sick if you drink your own pee. So you don't value your life all because you think drinking pee is good. Yeah. Boy, it's disgusting. So, so I if I had to eat Brussels sprouts for the rest of my life, I still would. They keep me alive. No, I would rather I would rather drink water. But what, what if you don't have water? What if you don't have water? What are you drink? I would drink brain juice. Brain. Yeah. One time, actually, I forgot to post an ad. So now, so now I'm in one the and I forgot to bring one my time. camera. Okay, so you might be covering the mic like that. Push. Oh you want oh you wanna be in this? This is my thing. Oh okay everyone, come on. Mommy, <gasps> come a, in. I think there's a cake coming. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sana. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Oh make a wish. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> are you gonna cut your name? <gasps> no. Which bit are you gonna cut? <laughs> she said you better turn that round. Okay. <laughs> are you gonna cut Stargirl or birthday? Okay, wait, do it. There you are. I know you really like noise. I love Kirsty Swafton, so I'm actually gassed. Yeah, do you know, have you ever seen the kick? This tiny, it's so cute. It's so cute. Do it can literally fit in my hand. Yeah, who's, who's eating something? I'm having something. Oh, you having some cake, Richie? Should, <gasps> should we see if she can make a doggy cake? Yes. The real <laughs> dog food. <laughs> we could. Thank you. Aww. You get another plate? This cake looks delicious. It's carrot cake. Yeah, I know. No, I just dropped that. I'm so terrible at this Hello, darkness, right. smile. Okay, guys, I'm about to wind this vlog down. I'm currently in bed. Ooh, that light. Really like. I'm currently in bed. Uh, teeth brushed, about to put my retainer in, and I'm hemming RJ's school pants because they're too long. And I've never been happier. I'm in a really, really, really content period of my life, and I hope it lasts for for as long as I live, like I'm so content. There is nothing outside, there is no award, there is no title, there is no thing, there is no party, there is no group, there is no, there is nothing. Like I, I could almost cry at how content I am and content and happiness aren't always the same thing in my opinion. Happiness is fleeting and happiness often needs a event you know, an award, a party, a kid being born. Happiness often needs an event, but this steady stream of contentment I've been feeling, I just never thought I'd get here. I never thought I'd get here. Anyway. I'll see you in the next vlog.